Hello students, today we will be solving question answers of the lesson or the chapter some natural phenomenon. Okay. Now uh, we will be solving question answers from the NCRT. So let us start with the question number 1. I will just read out the question children which of the following cannot be charged easily by friction. <coughs> I am repeating it which of the following cannot be charged easily by friction. So they have given the options also a plastic scale we know it get charged isn't it a copper rod okay, and inflated balloon we know balloon also get charged and a woolen cloth. We know even woolen cloth get charged isn't it. So out of this four, this four we know these get charged okay, and copper rod as it is a conducting material isn't it, it is a very good conductor. So it will not get charged. So the correct answer will be what children, the correct answer is the answer number which, which is the correct answer children B a copper rod. So um, the, for the question which of the following cannot be charged easily by friction this is question number 1 ok I have written question number 1 rather I should write answer. So I will write answer number 1 and the answer is a copper rod ok. Now we will talk about answer number 2 ok. So question number 2 is uh, when a glass rod, rod <laughs> is rubbed with a piece of silk cloth the rod then they have given the options ok. Again I am reading it when a glass rod is rubbed with a piece of silk cloth the rod ok. Option is and the cloth both the rod see it is in condition silk cloth the rod and the cloth what I do not know what is the option and the cloth, cloth both require positive charge B becomes positively charged with the cloth has a negative charge Y and C and the cloth I do not know why they have given again again and in between the cloth both acquire negative charge ok. Ok the question is written when a glass rod is rubbed with a piece of silk cloth ok then they are talking about the glass rod uh, which charge is it getting ok which charge will it acquire. So D is becomes negatively charged while the cloth has a positive charge. So they have given end correctly it, it is actually like silk cloth uh, ok the glass rod and the cloth they are talking about. So the correct answer is written B1 becomes positively charged while the cloth has a negative charge is it it? We all know this we have discussed this thing and in fact we have done many experiments even which was not there in the uh, book. Uh, and we have done means we have not performed over here but uh, definitely I have explained the uh, different experiments over here is not it. So the correct answer is B it becomes positively uh, see I have got certain I have got you know more blisters in my mouth so not able to speak properly. So um, it is B becomes positively charged while the cloth has a negative charge. So the correct answer is B becomes positively charged while the cloth becomes negatively charge ok this we have performed many a times again I am saying perform but we have studied many a times ok I have discussed this thing this answer uh, while uh, explaining the chapter ok. So we have discussed few more examples also just related to the same uh, you know the charges. Now we will move to the next question children now we are talking about the question number third. 
सो वॉट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड इज ट्रू एंड फॉल्स सो लेट मी रीड ए लाइक चार्ज इज अट्रैक्ट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड इज राइट टी अगेंस्ट ट्रू एंड एफ अगेंस्ट फॉल्स इन दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट ओके सो ए इज लाइक चार्ज इज अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर सी वी ऑल नो लाइक चार्जेस विल नॉट अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर डेफिनेटली लाइक चार्जेस आर गोइंग टू रिपेल ईच अदर एंड वेल दैप्टर लाइक वेद आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द चैप्टर आई ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द मैग्नेटिज्म इन द सेम यू नो वेल एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस थिंग दैट एज इन मैग्नेट लाइक पोल्स रिपेल ईच अदर एंड द ऑपोजिट पोल्स अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर इन द सेम वे हियर ऑल्सो लाइक पोल्स विल repel each other and the opposite poles are going to attract each other isn't it so uh, question number 3 a question number 3 is all about true and false we are supposed to write t in front of the correct statement and we are supposed to write f in front of uh, false statement so a is like charges attract each other is it true or false so definitely it is what false we all know and we have discussed this also that opposite poles okay or opposite charges they attract each other rather uh, we can you know we have uh, taken the examples of the magnet also and we have discussed this thing in detail in the chapter okay so i uh, i do not feel that there should be any kind of confusion between the same and the opposite charges and the poles now we'll talk about the b a charged glass rod attracts a charged plastic straw okay again i'm reading it children a charged glass rod attracts a charged plastic straw so uh, what is it is it true yes it is true children because the one gets positive charge and the other gets negative charge and just now we have discussed that opposite charges always will attract each other and the same charges will always repel each other isn't it so this is how it is so what is here children a charged glass rod attracts a charged plastic straw so this is what true okay so now we'll talk about the third one lightning conductor cannot protect a building from lightning i am reading it again children lightning conductor cannot protect a building from lightning absolutely wrong isn't it uh, lightning conductors are placed on the top of the uh, buildings just for the protection of the building so definitely it works isn't it so this c is false c is what children c is false okay so uh, we have studied this children that when the lightning conductors are used and are placed at the top of the buildings then what happens uh, whatever okay during lightning uh, the conductors they uh, catch the lightning and it is passed through a long copper wire inside the earth is it it so lightning can be prevented or the you know the buildings can be prevented i should say the the buildings can be prevented from the lightning with the help of the uh, this conductors isn't it so it is very very important to have these lightning conductors at the top of the uh, tall buildings now we'll have fourth one fourth only na uh, okay so question number c is over i think so or d is also there yeah d is also there children earthquakes can be predicted in advance okay they are asking that can earthquake can be predicted uh, can earthquake can be you know declared in advance or can it be mentioned or can it be known like can we come to know that when we are going to have an earthquake so it's no isn't it we have discussed this thing also children that it's not at all possible till now to know that when earthquake is going to come isn't it 
and the day when it is uh, uh, it will become possible the day when it will become possible definitely it is going to save lot many many lives isn't it so till now we are not able to uh, no uh, we cannot or the scientists cannot uh, tell in advance that when and where the earthquake are going to take place okay so now we'll talk about question number fourth children so answer number fourth sometimes a crackling sound is heard while taking off a sweater during winter okay so again i'm ask, i'm reading it sometimes a crackling sound is heard while taking off a sweater during winters see uh, what is there it's wool and wool get charged you know uh, we know that we have discussed this thing so what is happening children many a times due to friction okay due to friction the sweater get charged and uh, thus when we remove it a crackling sound can be heard okay i have given uh, this example also that if you uh, if a girl keep the hair open on the cardigan on the sweater okay without oil the hair is the uh, if the hair uh, are long and can uh, it, if it is an oil and if it is kept open if the hair are kept open then what will happen while removing the sweater the hair will try to you know it get uh, it it becomes really difficult to remove uh, hair from the sweater because you know uh electrostatic force is developed and uh as this is a weak force it get removed but still it get attracted the hair and the sweater get attracted okay so why does it happen children due to the development or due to the electrostatic force okay so let me write the answer number 4 and the question is sometimes a crackling sound is heard while taking off a sweater during winters okay so as we know wool get charged due to electrostatic force and thus a crackling sound can be heard okay that means here what is happening as wooden get charged due to electrostatic force and thus a crackling sound can be heard that means the woolen uh the sweater which uh, the person is wearing okay so the charge get developed on that and thus so what is happening due to the friction between the body and the sweater the charge is being developed okay so uh, while removing the sweater the sound can be heard now come to the question number 5 children explain why a charged body loses its charge if we touch it with our hand i will read the question again children explain why our charged body loses its charge if we touch it with our hand okay so as soon as we touch it what is happening through our body the charge is being passed to the surface of the earth and thus uh, the body get discharged isn't it so thus we can say it either we can say that body is discharged or we can say that the body loses its charge so what is happening when we are touching a charged body through our body the charge get passed to the surface of the earth and thus we can say either we can say that the body uh, or that particular uh, thing which is you know which we are touching that get discharged or uh, it loses the charge so i'll just read the question again children the question number is fifth So I will write over here answer number fifth. Okay. So 
ओके सो एक्सप्लेन वाई अ चार्ज बॉडी लूजेज इज चार्ज इफ ए टच इट विथ आर हैंड ओके सो वेन वी टच द ऑब्जेक्ट ओके आर बॉडी transfers the charge from the object to the surface of the earth okay let me read the answer again over here that when we touch the object our body transfer the charge from the object to the surface of the earth if you remember uh, the structure of the elect electroscope okay so as soon as the charged body is taken to the electroscope so what used to happen we can see the you know the gold leaf moving apart and as soon as the that body is removed and if we touch okay if we touch the uh, electroscope from the top so what used to happen children the gold leaf you will be again come back to their own position why because again the gold leaf are now what the gold leaf becomes a discharge okay the the gold leaf loses their charge so uh, while discussing the electroscope also we have discussed two kinds of electroscope and while discussing the electroscope also uh all this uh, things were discussed okay two types of electroscope means what the the you know the handmade uh, uh, electroscope and the electroscope which are there available in the uh, laboratories okay two types means what the one which we can make it our at our own home and the other one which is available at the laboratory so what is happening when a charged object is touched by us or when we touch the charged object so what is happening the charge passes through our body to the surface of the earth and thus the body become chargeless or it get discharged okay so this was all about question number 5 now we'll be talking about question number 6 before that please know this down so that we can discuss the next question